power of prophetic Passover. The modern day, the church, the iglesia, for the most part, has lost the power of God. Just like Samson in the Bible, they don't know the Spirit of God has left them. They still have the form of religion, have no power. But it's a new day of restoration. Passover is the Jewish festival that reminds us of God's greatness when He gives instruction to Israelites in Egypt that will cause the destroyer to pass over their houses. Exodus 11, 12. The prophetic aspect of the Passover is still available to us in this season. When certainly time comes in the form of economic, spiritual, environmental, or personal attacks against your family, health, or finances, God Almighty can reveal strategies, strategies that will allow you to avoid them or even receive a blessing in the midst of difficult struggles and pain. We see in Genesis chapter 26 and 12. And Genesis all the chapter 41. Get ready to pass over into the new season. You can expect to see things begin to align strategically, supernaturally. Crossing over in the season of April in the Mount of Nisan. This is a season we can expect to see a very significant amount of prophetic strategies begin release that will prepare the way for miraculous changes. And I will call this radical changes and breakthroughs coming in the month of Nisan, April. When God Almighty gave the Israelites strategy for destroyer to pass over the houses, it was not just blanket blessing for everyone. They had to listen to God and take action, step, and it's same for us in this time, in this season. We need to what? Step stronger, believing for new season. Amen. New season. Hallelujah. They had to listen to God to take action. Remember, action. You need to take the action step and to the same for us in this season. This year, we call the year of greatness, miracles, signs, and wonders. During this Passover, there is a new release coming from heaven. That will allow the plans for the enemy to pass over. You will God pour out new season and new life. And blessing from heaven upon your life. This month of Nisan, April. To be time of significant breakthrough. The God be release us from all the influence of darkness of coronaviruses. Clean out your closets. This season, this year is all about forgetting the former ways of doing things and not dwelling on the past. Isaiah chapter 43, 18. The old ways of thinking and doing things will limit and even hinder us. It's very important to lighten your load and streamline for the next few months. Practically, this means to clean out your closet and get rid of things that were from the previous season. This is both physical and spiritual. I talk to every one of you right now. Come we read in, in Hebrews chapter 12 from the beginning. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 1. Therefore, 
Since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hindered and seeing that are so easily in, entangled. And let us run with perseverance of the race marked out for us. It is also time to clean up any behaviors or things we have held onto from the past. This might be things that have brought us comfort in times of stress. God Almighty is giving you new power right now to overcome things that have overcome you previously. You have new authority, new freedom, and new creative flow that is coming from heaven right now in Jesus Christ's name. You might need to realign your schedule or routine to capture this wind of the spirit of glory. Finances and favor. Many people have suffered financial losses over the past weeks and past few years also. I have been proclaiming and prophesying, declaring the word. Well, but April, the month of Nisan, is the time in which this is coming up again. God is releasing new abilities to regain finances because the new things that God is calling you to will cost money to do. God is calling us to something new. But we may be holding things back to doing things according to tradition as opposite to doing what the father is doing in john chapter 15 john chapter 5 19 yeshua the messiah the king of glory say he can do only what he see his father doing but many people today are only doing what they see the spiritual fathers or forefathers doing. This does not allow us to move into the new thing as God opened them up. Many people are still because of they keep trying to go back to old ways instead of leading out the new freshness of God's glory. Is the time of repentance, as a time of reconciliation, as a time for heal everything what disturbing you. As you step at the new things God revealed to you, do not be surprised if people around you do not agree with you. Those who are preparing and waiting on God will see a new surge of supernatural favor over your relationship. And finances. God is aligning you for blessing, and that is why it's important to be flexible and ready to take action as it is revealed. This is excited time, my brethren. It's not the time of stress, and we are all of us in quarantine isolated time. It's exciting season because we are beginning to see the positive movement in the spirit. The healing power, signs and wonders, miracles take place. Hallelujah. It's the blood of Yeshua Messiah that cover all the saints. It's the body of Yeshua that give us strength and nourishment to leave Egypt. Bandage. To the of the world have you applied his blood to the doorpost of your hearts today the question you oh hallelujah the five great promises god is giving to us god spoke through moses to children of israel in exodus chapter 6 6 to 8 and promises that five specific things pay attention now this is open to the holy spirit First, I will bring you out from under the burdens of Egyptians. Second, I will deliver you from the bondage. Hallelujah. 
Third, I will redeem you with ostrich arm and I will mighty acts of judgment. Four, I will take you for my own people and I will be your God. And fifth, I will bring you to the land. I swore to give to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob. I will give it to you as possessions. Yeshua will bring you out from under the burdens of the world system. Are you with me now? It is Yeshua will redeem you and deliver you from bandage. It is Yeshua will make you a son and daughter of the living God. It is Yeshua Messiah who has Determinate a place and a plan for your life. Hallelujah. Why celebrate Passover? Because by doing so, you are keeping one of the Lord's instructions. Recognizing all that Yeshua Messiah has done for you in this significant time. We thank you, Majestic King, the Prince of Peace, for your supernatural prophetic word in, for this season, for this shaking season, for this really shaking ground. The whole world is passing right now. It's never happened for a long time like this. But Lord, I know you are preparing us, you are equipping us for something great, for something majestic, Lord. And we open to you, Abba. Because your power of resurrection. You say, I am risen, the king of glory. He is no longer in the tomb because Savior Jesus Christ is alive. And show himself to hundreds of people at that time. In Luke chapter 24, 6 to 7. Oh, hallelujah. He walked through walls. He walked through the world for 40 days before 500 people watched him. Go to heaven. He is not here. He is reason. Remember this. Oh hallelujah. Remember how he told you. While he was still. You in the Galilee. The son of man. Must be delivered unto the hands of sinful man. Be crucified. And the third day. Be rise again. Luke chapter 24. 6 to 7, we declare, He is risen in my life, in my family, in my finances, in my children, in my destiny, in my future, in my plans. You are risen, Lord. You overcome the spirit of darkness, spirit of death, and I overcome with you because you only my hope and destination to the new Jerusalem. I know the day is coming. The rapture is coming. You take us back to you. And we not live in scariness and disappointed. But live in miracle power and glorious anointing. In the name of Yeshua the Messiah. Savior and Redeemer. Our Father in heaven. Allow be your name. Your kingdom come. You will be done on the earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the power and glory forever and ever. Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus Christ, my risen King. Yes, and Amen. God bless you with the power of resurrection. With you today, the Pastor Daniel Rosen, Living Stone Congregation, Israel.